Well, I have an idea of what I want to do with my clay, and it's, uh, <laughs> what time is it? Well, it's 12.30 in the evening, or actually 12.30 a.m. in the morning, and uh, I couldn't sleep. I mean, I went to bed at 9.30, well, got up at uh, about a half hour ago, 12 o'clock. I want to work on this clay, and I couldn't yesterday because I, or the last couple of days, because I uh, was getting a huge order on my DVD, instructional DVDs out, and I finished it late last night, and uh, so I'm laying in bed, and I can't sleep because I keep thinking about what I want to do with this clay, and uh, I'm thinking about taking the helmet off his head, as some suggest, but I'm thinking of having it being held in his hand. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'll tell you what I'm thinking of doing. I've taken several people have said that you look great without the ha helmet on, and I have to agree with some of those people. And I thought about this and thought about it. The other day, I was thinking, what if I put his helmet down here and on his hand, and he's holding it as well as holding the battle axe uh, in the crook of his arm and in holding the handle of the battle axe in his right hand, in his left hand, he's holding the helmet, holding on to the inner straps, and uh, I think it's an idea that's worth trying. I'm going to cut away the robe that I've got right now. I've got to rearrange the robe and make it look like the helmet, the weight of the helmet is pulled up against the uh, robe and bunches up the robe a little bit. I, I'll show what I'm talking about later. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut away the robe and get ready to I'm do that. I'm going to put this fondue stick in here. And, uh, let's see, I gotta get that aligned up with the clay. So that it holds the uh, helmet on so it's not going to be falling off. Use my hammer. It's not going to come off now. They're still going to have to cut this face mask off and weld it on, but it'd be a lot easier than doing it on the head. And uh, I want to do some stuff with the hair on his head. I want to give him kind of a... Now, I, I, I want to put more character in this gentlemen because it quite honestly was dull and I don't want it to be dull so I'm going to cut this off at the top of the helmet and I'm going to push it in just a little bit more hopefully not screwing up the helmet doing that there now it just takes a little clay. I'm using one camera because quite honestly it's real early in the morning. It's about a quarter to one AM. And I just don't feel like using two cameras. So I'll have to get create, creative on how I use my cameras. Or camera. <laughs> Singular. 
Okay, I need to smooth that out a little. You should always be willing to change the design of a piece if you feel like you've got a better idea. Because what you're doing is you're creating a real story. And uh, that's what I'm doing here. Now I need to fill in the helmet. Because I can't have that deep undercut there. So I'm going to do that, hopefully, without wrecking the mask. All right, just a little promotion here. I've produced nine instructional DVDs on how to sculpt, taking advantage of my over 50 years in the field of sculpting. Uh, little tricks, little ways of doing things to make things easier. And I have a review of each of these nine DVDs in the video description below this video. Take a look. And if you see something you like, please purchase it. Thank you. It helps me. All right, that's going to be it. I'm going to call it quits for the night. Not bad for a half hour's work. It's about 1 o'clock now. I'm going to uh, get this uh, to a point where I can take it to the foundry next week to have it uh, bid on. I need to know what uh, kind of a price range it's going to be. And I can't know that until they give me a, what it, an estimate of what it would cost to cast it in bronze. And uh, so I've got to go to the foundry next week anyway uh, to uh, be there for the coloring of two new bronzes by me. The uh, Statue of Christ, I Am the Way, and of the uh, bust of Sitting Bull that I did. And I figure I'll take this in at the same time and get a bid on it, and that way I can set a price range for a uh, casting in bronze. All right, good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe.
<laughs> Depends on how I feel. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.